Hi, I'm here with Africa X5 on Oxford Street. My name's Jessica and I'm here to ask the members of the public a few questions that you guys wanted answers to. Why? Uh, let me see. I think uh, the system. <laughs> it's about the system. System can do better. So, do you think it's the state to blame? Yeah, because yeah, because you know, if if um, I'm, I mean, I got all back nothing. If um, if it was white white um, kid, um youths getting killed, I think the system would do much better, much better. So you think it's because it's more ethnic minorities, more or less black, black yeah. boys. Um, you feel like um, they're basically left to to, the, to fend for themselves in terms of getting the right policing and the right securities and and activities in place for the kids. Yes, because what happened is them take away the rights of parents also. You know, you know, we know some parents maybe can be cruel to them children and this. These parents need to, um, if anything, them can um, they are looking better with their kids, you know. But the system take all the rights from the parents them for for um, discipline, and the kids them grow up um, just carefree, and I want back, back talk to their parents, you know, no respect. Simply and because they feel like the state or the government has is basically on their side, and they feel like they can. Yes. They I, have the, the leeway to, to be free, isn't it? Because yeah. They, they know that they'll get the parents will get in trouble. Yeah. If and they discipline them the wrong way. Yeah, that's true, and this is what lead. That's why I'm saying the system. I'm not. I'm not um putting down the system. Yeah, because the system is the system, but you know, through that it caused this problem now. And when something gone bad in the morning, it can't come back good again. So, so I guess that's what's happening now. So, so, so would you say that we don't discipline our children enough as a community nowadays? Yeah, people try, but when they, when they try to discipline the child, not to hurt them, no hunting, but when, when, when they discipline them, they put in some rules now and the, the children them go back to the school and um, the, at the school tell them stuff and then they come home with attitude against the parents and them even tell lies. I don't know if I could say this. They take away my two children. Yes. Against my rules, tell with lies. They tell lies to do it. Social services, the school. And um, the reason being because we, um, it causes the mother of the children to die. My, my partner. Yeah. Um, we are victim of antisocial behavior. And by reporting it, in which we are the one facing the antisocial behavior. Uh, with proof, they take away my children. But the problem is, is the housing association is behind the ASBO. They are the ones putting the people in to cause ASBO. My partner suffered from epilepsy. She died 2018 from the actions of the, of, um, the, the said antisocial behavior. And um, when they do the ASBO, like bang, deliberately, round the clock, it was, it was been going on for 15 years, 16 years, day in, day out. And we try to get help. It, it, Everybody know about it. The MP, we try to help the MP, but the housing is the one. They, are, they have money. They're rich. And um, and what, what, what area is this? Acne, acne, yeah, yeah, man. The housing, um, this trauma family. They adopt my son from birth. He was born. He didn't come home. Straight into care, and they adopt my son. I don't know where he is now. Uh, uh, no, they adopt him. Yeah, and this is these all these things called my partner epilepsy to get worse. And we haven't done nothing more than, as I say, we are a victim of antisocial behavior. And by reporting it with proof, they, they even say my partner mad. They try to say me mad because they have a strategy where they use, tell you to do mental health tests. So they bring it to me and I say, tell me one good reason why you want me to do me. I've been dealing with professional people over the years. Why not? But they, 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 they target families what they think is vulnerable. Me and I have a family in England. My sister's in America. I have five sisters. Only son for my mama. Yeah, I'm not only boy. And um, my, my partner is only a child for her mother. Her mother go missing in this country. Until now, they didn't find her. She was sexually abused by her stepdad, the man that was with her, with her, with her, um, her mom. Yeah? And um, when she reported, when she, she stopped, when she come of age, when she was younger, her mother go missing. The man was bringing her up, sexually abusing her. 
And when she come off his like 14, she realized that it's wrong and she stopped him. And he's still itch on stay with her and um, you know, like the guilt, try to do things for her and thing. But when I pregnant her in 2004, I tell her that I don't want him around my daughter because it was a, a girl child, yeah? And when she eventually tell him, he tell her that she will regret it. You understand? And she was kind of scared, so she tell the police. The police say, why didn't she report it when it was happening? But she was a little girl. How can the police say that? And they bring in social services. From then, social services come in my life, but they never take away my daughter. They, they, uh, they, they try their madness, but it never happened. But in 2014, in 2014, 2015, I pregnant her. Never wanted to happen, it happened. And you know, they believe in abortion. So, and this is what they do. They come back in, tell lies. They use beer discrimination. They say my daughter is a risk to her brother. And my daughter born with special needs, global delay. And they, 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 they use, in this case, peer discrimination. I have the paperwork. I have video footage of the husband right now. Yeah, I want to even expose what happened. I can do a documentary um, film of the Asbo. Yeah, what well, I'm, yeah, well, I'm saying I have proof, yeah, but yeah, back but to... this is a way that the yeah. government have come in and, yeah. you know, disorganised... It's wrong, 21st century. I come in England to better my life. And if I wasn't strong, I'd lose my mind. Right now, only photographs of my family. I'm still in the yard. I did succeed the tenancy, you understand? And they're still doing the same thing, but it didn't affect me. I ignore it. Until now, they still do. They flood now three times recently. The housing always back the people, them always defend them because just throw them at one bank. And if I get professional help, all when I say to you now, it can show, say, every, every finger point back to the housing. To See, because them should I stop all of this, but two of them, they're behind it, nothing never done, and the rest are local authority. To me, it's a consp conspire with them. And, um, and still, they're still fighting me for the yard. But as I said, it didn't affect me. I wasn't born with no sickness, you know. And back to the youth, youth crime. At full time, for they do something about it. You understand this? It's a full time now. You know what I said? But I said, true, um, white kids now nah, died. If white kids was getting stabbed, yeah, they wouldn't be able to do something.